People can't recall everything they're exposed to in a single message, but for some reason, safety people think they can. On this episode, we're going to explore some strategies and ideas that commercials on the Super Bowl can teach us about building better safety communications. People work, the human touch in workplace safety. Available everywhere on Amazon. To learn more, go to kevburns.com slash peoplework. Puppy Monkey Baby. That was last year's big ad from the Super Bowl 2016. It was so weird and so compelling and incredibly memorable. Mountain Dew had the ad with the best legs and the longest memory. Well, this year, 2017, the cost of a 30-second Super Bowl ad was $5 million. And the advertising availabilities were sold out again. Companies lined up to spend millions of dollars for a single 30-second time slot. Now, do you think that expenditure of $5 million for a single ad drives enough revenue to the sponsor to pay for that ad? Nope, it will not, at least not alone. Advertisers who take a 30-second time slot on the Super Bowl and pay five mil for it are not expecting to drive tens of millions of dollars uh, of sales from a single ad. No, they're using that expenditure of a single TV ad as a showcase for their product but it's only a small piece of the overall mix of their marketing tools. So let's talk about what marketing tools look like. In addition to the ad buy, companies will spend millions of dollars more marketing attention on their ad. In other words, they'll tease their customers that they'll be unveiling a new ad during Super Bowl. They'll employ millions of dollars on social media strategies to engage people to watch the ad both prior to the Super Bowl and even more after the Super Bowl is over. They'll look for the media to talk about their ads, which gives them more free publicity, hoping people will share the social media links, more free publicity, and even wait for others to mock the ads with their own spoof ads, even more free publicity. Thousands of people will go to work to get people to take an action, to watch the ad during the game, to share the ad with their social media network, to click the links to watch the ad online. And it's all done in the hopes of driving more foot traffic through the doors to sell more product. People buy what they are aware of and what intrigues them. Now, buying an ad is expensive on its own if you expect to drive millions of dollars in business from a single exposure. But people don't rush right out and buy a case of beer or a new car because of a single ad. That ad is part of an overall strategy, and that's the lesson that safety can learn. Just like all of the dozens of advertisers who ran their ads during Super Bowl, we as viewers were captivated by maybe one or two. And by captivated, I mean we were able to recall the gist of the message, but not able to repeat it back verbatim. Again, Mountain Dew's Puppy Monkey Baby, right? People are simply not able to recall everything they are exposed to in a single message. But for some reason, safety people think they are. That's why so many safety meetings feature full information dumps and endless streams of bullet points in the hopes that meeting attendees will be able to work through, figure out, distinguish the urgent from the important from the filler material. So the purpose of a well-designed marketing strategy is to get people to take a specific action. That's what TV advertisers want. That's what you should want for your safety program. What is the action that you're expecting from your safety meetings and communications? Now, the answer to that question is part of your overall safety marketing strategy. So here are three things you need to include in your safety marketing. Number one, add a call to action. What do you want people to do with the information you give them? I mean, there has to be a reason that you're giving them the information. Have you communicated why you're telling them this? Because without a reason or a purpose for employees to internalize the information, it'll be mentally discarded after a short time. Give people something to do with the information. Tell them why they are being given the information and what you want them to do with it. Don't just dump the information and expect that they can read your mind because they can't. Number one, add a call to action. Then number two, distill down your ideas into one or two actionable items. See, not everything can be an action step. Your people would be overwhelmed and drowning in action steps that they could never accomplish. So distill it down. Think like the coach of a professional athlete. A coach doesn't impose a long list of things for a professional athlete to work on before the next game. Professional coaches know that no one can do it. It sets the athlete up for failure. So instead, they work on one or two things. 
and so should you. Have your people focus on one or two actionable items at a time. We can't focus on everything, so work on helping them become exceptional at a few things at a time. Number two, distill down your ideas into one or two actionable items. And then number three, repeat. Repeat and then repeat. When you watch a TV ad, even if it's a really good and memorable one, can you repeat it back word for word after just one view? Of course not. No one would expect you to. So why is the expectation your people are supposed to hear, internalize, and recall safety information after one meeting? They can't. And expecting that they can is setting them up for failure. Your people don't remember everything you told them the first time around. Stop thinking they all have steel trap memories. Have a plan, a strategy for communicating safety. Repeat the key points and ideas. Repeat the key action steps. Build on the last action step and repeat, repeat, repeat. Keep driving that message home. No one gets it all of the first time. Number three, repeat, repeat, and then repeat. And just like the Super Bowl, the ads that we remember are the ones that captivate us. We tune out the boring ads just like we tune out the boring safety communications. So make it engaging, make it memorable, and most importantly, make it all about them. And for more tips and ideas on better safety communications, go buy my book, People Work, The Human Touch in Workplace Safety.